Good morning internet and welcome back to the channel. It's Sunday, it is the 11th of February and uh, it's 25 to 11 so early start. Now I was actually this morning, when I got up this morning we had sun here, the strange thing in the sky, in fact when I woke up I was a bit shocked, I thought what's that but it's the sun, we don't see it very often and I was almost tempted to go out on the bike, I thought you know what because I've been out for so long with all this rain and we've had and everything. But alas, before I got the first cup of coffee finished with, it was raining. So, scrap that idea. Right, so, this morning it's, it's taking apart the clutch on the Trans Alp. But just before I do that, a little update, I like my updates, a little update on my chin mount. You know the chin mount that I ordered for the new helmet, the HJC? The i90, right. So, st <laughs> the story so far. The uh, the French import wanted 15 odd euro, which was more than half the value of what I paid for the chin mount. Now, so what happens is you can dispute that. You have the right to dispute it. And believe you me, dispute it, I was going to do. But what you have to do before you dispute it is the postman or lady or whatever it is turns up here. In this case, it was a post lady, lovely lady, ever so friendly. And I said to her, I'm not doing it, I'm not paying the duty, it's, it's way in excess. And she agreed, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so then they take it back. Now, what you do then is you go on La Post, and there's lots of little things to do with your parcel, right? But one of them is that you dispute any import charges. So that's what you do, you click on that, and you start a case. And uh, it's, it's, this, it's all this stupid robot thing keeps popping up. That's what it is these days, isn't it? It's all automated, isn't it? You can't speak to a human, it's a bloody robot. Anyway, so uh, we're, we're trying to get this sorted. Now, bear in mind as well, and this is my fault, no one else to blame here, my, my, my French is awful. So everything it's telling me, I have to translate. I go to Google Translate, copy and paste it, and then I'm writing back, and I have to do the same thing, writing in English, and bloody blah, blah, anyway. But it appears, right, that the French in their wisdom and all their red tape that they do with everything they do, it, it now appears that my chin mount seems to be on its way back to Canada, which is really annoying, you know? You... <laughs> So I have a helmet with no mount, which is, you know. So, I, I suppose what I've got to do is now is contact Chin Mount, who, again, not only am I going to have to repay the postage and go through all this again, because out of sheer principle, and I know a lot of people out there, you know, are probably thinking, why don't you just pay the what's it? And you what? I have no problem in paying any import charges. It's the law, I get that. But half the value of an item is a total and utter ripoff. Anyway, so that's where the chin mount situation is up to. Who knows what will happen? Um, apart from me getting stressed out, <laughs> I just think that, you know, nobody, I don't mind doing anything. What I hate doing is being ripped off and, you know, Oh, it's raining again as well. Never mind. Right, okay. Enough said with that. I need to put some lights on. I forgot to put the lights on. So walk this way with me. And let me just show you, first of all, what I did. Oh, dear me. Absolutely hammering it down again. Look at this. Look at this. Let's let's do a quick weather check, eh? eh? Before we get, get going, eh? Just, just to prove. I don't know whether you can see the... Can you see the rain out there? Maybe, on the car? And everywhere else, look, and the wind, the trees going, and I, oh, I don't know. Still, never mind. So she's life. Springs on its way, they say. Right. So now, just before we get cracking, let me just show you this. Now I made this, right? Proper little artist I am. Hang on, let's just move this bag here and tip this down a bit. So. I made this card here, look, because when, when I take all the bolts off this casing, there are different lengths of bolts, and you can hang them down or, or put them on the table here, and they're gonna get moved. So what I've done is, look, 
there's the there's the oil drain the the oil filler the cap uh, that's the frame coming down there and then we're starting at bolt number one and we go all the way around there to bolt number 14 which there is 14 bolts yeah i've even put the cable holder there for the clutch goes in number 11. Hey, <laughs> am i good or am i good <laughs> okay so that then that relates to all this yeah to all these bolts here yeah now i've taken the clutch cable off and i've just put him there for a for the bit so we've got to get this stuff off here and then then we'll we'll take the actual the clutch basket out and see what's what but first of all what we've got to do is drain the oil obviously so let's walk around this way and what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to crack the oil we're going to let it drain i'm just going to put a pair of gloves on i, I don't know i don't normally work in these It'd be surgical gloves but sometimes rather than get covered in oil so i'm i'm going to crack this and i'm going to let it drain for a bit and while it's draining i'm going to go and have a coffee and then we'll come back and uh, yeah hopefully all the oil will be out and now try with the best intents and purposes not to let this nut go because <laughs> otherwise it does tend to land in the oil and that's the bit I don't want it to do okay there you go look at that lovely clean oil eh? now this is a magnetic drain plug yeah clean as a whistle look at that absolutely clean as a whistle right so I'm just going to stand, well, I'm just going to give this a quick wipe here, yeah, yeah, but as you can see, look, there's nothing on, on that at all, huh? she's nice and clean, I'll put a new washer, oh, good, put a new washer on it anyway, mind you, that washer looks pretty good, I might even leave that on, to be honest with you, it's not, uh, yeah, in fact I will, nothing wrong with that so I'll replace something if it doesn't need replacing basically okay so I'm just gonna put that up here so I can't lose it uh, let me just get these gloves off so I don't okay just throw that in the bin so let's turn you around again and put you up here a bit okay so basically I'm gonna let that drain uh, save because I've obviously when I take off the clutch cover um, there's still gonna be bits of oil in there and that's gonna make a bit of a mess so what I'll do is I'll, I'll wait till this is drained then the drain plug can go back in and then I'll empty the uh, the bowl in the dirty oil container and that can go that side and hopefully catch any oil that comes out right okay so i'm gonna have a coffee let that drain i'll catch you in a bit see in a bit yeah right so that's all the oil drained out well as much as we're going to get out the drain the drain plug hole anyway um it, it does help where this is situated normally this bike if you put it on the side stand you get a little bit more out but of course where it is not really possible so the the drain plug is back in, cleaned off, all around it is cleaned off, that's put back in. I am going to change the filter, but that can be done when it's all ready to be topped up. So what we're going to do now is we're going to move around here, like this, and we're going to remove the clutch casing. Now, so let's see if we can get this in a in a decent place hopefully like that okay so i've emptied the oil container this one so that when this comes out because there's bound to be a bit of oil in here uh, and as you can see i don't know whether you've noticed but for a change i have i have the tie down straps on the bike both sides i don't normally do that but i have because 
this nut when we actually get this cover off uh, and we we release the springs and then we get to the basket to get that off the uh, the input shaft nut is going to be extremely tight so we do not want the bike falling off right now so we're going to remove these as i said we're, we're going to crack them all and get them all loose and then take one out at a time and put it in my beautiful little plan that i've made there now as we release the pressure off these we're going to do these crosswise because we don't want any distortion with this so without further ado let's start cracking okay so we're going to go now these shouldn't be tight <coughs> I think the the torque on these are is quite low actually I think it's about 20 something Newton meters no I don't even think it's that I think it's 12 or something if I remember rightly Okay, we got that there, that there. Okay. Oops, left me socket. Hi, dearie, mate. Now, I could put my Benny Hill music on again that I did the other day, but uh, <laughs> YouTube didn't like that. <laughs> so they sort of said, No, you can't use that. You haven't got the copyright. And this is very true. I haven't. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, that one's a bit awkward. Hey, eh? to say the least. Hang on a sec. We got a dodgy bolt here. Oh. Okay, well let's. Okay, let's just check them all now. I think they're all loose, and then we'll deal with that one in a minute. So, yep, yeah, that's that. Okay, I don't think that one's cracked because I remember going down there. I think this one was just a bit, yeah, just a bit of a tight thread. Same as this one's a tight thread as well. Strange, really. That one, that one, that one. Okay, so they're all cracked apart from this one, which. You can't okay so what we'll have to do is hang on a sec we need to get an eight mil spanner i think on this uh because you can't get on very good with a socket in there and the last thing that i want to do uh, very strange is because like i said this has never been off before, but this one, this one is really chewed up. And it would be the one that's right next to that as well. But no. That is rounded off well and truly. <laughs> now, why would that be? Uh, but this isn't going to go at all. Sorry, there's me getting in the way. Like I said, you can't. No, 
No. Right. Well, there's a bit of a blow, eh? <laughs> Not quite what you want to get to. So. It's an 8 mil, but I don't think that's going to take it either. I really don't. Nope. Nope, this is really, really rounded off. Okay. So, okay, rather than us spend hours with the camera running trying to get this off, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna get this bolt out, uh, and when it is, we'll get back, because a bit of a delay, a bit of a problem, but life is life. Right, so, right, let me show you what I had to do to get this bolt out. I had to, hang on a sec, let's get back to where we wanna be. Uh, which is not there, it's there. So if you look at this here, look, I had to get the Dremel and I had to cut a groove in and then I got a screwdriver with a, with a hex around the top so I could get a spanner on and shock it out with a spanner. So there you go, it's out. Not particularly what I wanted, but you know. <laughs> We have to get over these things. Right, okay, so getting back to this now. So, we are all loose. So we're gonna start off at number one, which is this one here. And we're gonna put it in our little card here, like so. Now some of these are still tight, which is a bit of a... Hang on a sec, I need to get a longer. Just to get past the foot peg. I think what it is, some of these, bear in mind, like I've said so many times before, this bike is 34 years old, so, you know. Look, I mean, I'll clean all these up prior to going back in. Although, I probably don't think I'll be taking these out again. But you never know. I mean, you never know. I'd like to think no. Oh, that one's okay. It's nice when they come loose. Number four. So these, these are much better. <laughs> I will have to try and get a bolt for that. Number five, because obviously I'm not going to put that one back in. It doesn't particularly look that good. It makes you wonder why that one had gone. I, I don't, I haven't got a clue to why I've certainly never took this off. In fact, I know this has never been off. Uh, so maybe it's just, I don't know. You can't exactly say wear and tear, can you? Because it's a bolt, so, yeah. Anyone's guess is as good as mine with that one, but still, we've got around it. I'm bound to have a bolt lying around somewhere, I'd like to think. <sighs> Nearly getting there. As long as it's the same length as the one that's coming out. Just get this out of there. OK. 
Okay. Next one is a, a one with a clutch. We'll just stick him in there as well. Okay. Isn't it funny? This, this is number 13. <laughs> right, so I'm going to leave that in for, I'm going to do number 14. So he's number 13, eh? Unlucky for some, and in my case, it was unlucky, eh? Hey? Never mind, such is life. That's number 14. So let's have a look at this one. Hey. Like I said, hopefully I can. I've got, so, I've got buckets. I've never ever thrown any more in a way. Yeah, look. So, so I just cut that out and then sort of got it round. And uh, yeah, there you go. I'm bound to find one of them somewhere, hopefully. If not, even if I've got a longer one, I will cut it down. So, look, oops. There's my little card, look, with only one. And there's the one, number 13, eh? Definitely. Unlucky for some, right. Okay, now we've got to get this off. Now bear in mind, there is in here, there's there's two pegs. I'm not too sure what position the pegs are, but there's definitely two pegs. And uh, so we've got to mind them as well, that we don't lose them. And like I say, see how easy this is gonna come off. This has been on a fair few years, obviously. Uh, let's have a look. You haven't really got too much that you can knock this into. Hold on a sec. I might just be able to get that there and knock that that way. So bear with me a minute. Once, once we've actually just cracked the gasket a bit, we'll be okay. Okay. Well, she's gonna be a good one. <laughs> well and truly, eh? I mean, you can only but just keep trying with this. So I don't want to put anything down there because it will literally damage the seal. Well, not the actual seal gasket, but damage the edge and I do not want that. Okay. Let's have a little tap with this. I feel another coffee coming on. <laughs> have a think. <laughs> right, let's have another look. See where you get there. Normally, if you can get the... It is hanging on for grim death. Hey, there's no two ways about that. It does not, it's not even moved this here, look, not a bit. And like I said, you you almost tempted to get a blade down there, but no, that is not going to happen. Okay. Ha! She's well and <laughs> 34 years, it doesn't want to, <laughs> it definitely doesn't want to come off, does it? Uh, it's been a pain in the butt. All right, listen, I, I need to, I need to play with this round, tapping little bits. Um, so there's no point me recording all this because it'll just get boring. So I'm going to switch you off until this 
cover gives up and comes off. Okay, so more brute force. No, not exactly brute force. What I had to do to get this off look was this lug here, this one, I had to go from the other side and uh, put a put I turned my little hammer around so the rubber handle was on there and hit the other end of the hammer and shocked it off. When I say hit it, you know, lightly. <laughs> no brute force. Right, okay. So so far it's been pretty challenging. I think we must agree on that one. So this is all loose now. So let's get this off. Minding. Okay, I lied. <coughs> no, there we go. There we go. Okay. And lovely jubbly. Okay. Yeah. So there's all that there. So I'm just going to go and put this across here. Oh, I lost my bit of wood. Okay. That's going to sit there like that. What it would do. Like that there. I know, I know you can't see me and I'm talking away. Okay. So there we go. Hey. So there's our clutch. Yeah. There's our clutch. This is what it's all about. Yeah. All done in there. Okay. It's, hey, it's strange, isn't it? Hey? Yeah. A little thrust bear in there, look. Okay. Right. So the next thing to come off is this. Yeah, again, we're going to undo these uh, cross sections to release the pressure on the spring. So let's get you in a position where you can, uh, so that you can get there and see. But at the same time, I can actually, I can actually getting to do it actually I think probably I've got this on there yep well right, again there shouldn't be huge amounts of pressure on these we'll just crack them off like that now what I'll do is I'll get myself another little another little metal dish put these in hang on bear with me mate don't go away he says now what I'm going to do is as well I'm going to take this bit off here uh, because it's nearly lunch time it, well in fact it's gone lunch time and being Sunday my family are all here so they're all like saying it's nearly dinner time and that's very true it is nearly dinner time uh, just get this on a make it a bit easy for me just a bit at a time until we get the pressure of this okay We're getting there.
virtually done. There's no point trying to rush this, no point at all. You know, do it properly, take your time. Okay, we should be able to take these off by hand now. Now these bolts are all the same, so you don't have to worry about length with these. Just put them in, make sure they stay in safely so you've got them all to put back together again. Okay. Right. We'll just let them go there. And that's our case in there, look. Bearing in there, which, like I said, there's probably nothing wrong with this bearing. Probably nothing wrong with it at all, but I'm going to put a new bearing in anyway. But for now, that's where that's where it's going to sit. Okay, so let's just put that down there in a minute. Get the springs out now. These springs, I'm not going to use these. I've got new springs to put in. Okay, so we'll just they can go in there. So drain the oil everywhere. Okay, so the next step is we're going to knock. There's a little dent in that washer there at the end of the shaft. You knock that in, which is part of the nut. Yeah, and then we're going to take that off. And then we're going to take our basket out all in one with everything coming out with it yeah so that we can see exactly what what but this is going to be after dinner not now because dinner is done i don't want to upset the family this is it's took a little bit longer than i thought it would but hey ho that's what life is all about right so i will see you after lunch bye for now Welcome back. Lunch is over. Right, okay, let's go on with the job in hand, shall we not? Now, before we go any further, let's just have a look at this, because this is important to sort of note this. Uh, hang on a sec. Let me see if I can get you in the right place. So, as you can see here, you've got your one row of plates here, and then your last one goes into this one. See? There's... There's your last one there. There's all the rest of them there, yeah? It'll be more evident when we take them off, but it is important to remember that, yeah? There's your one there. Because with these, I think I remember saying to you before that you have, you have a, let's get the camera in the right place. You have an A and B. You've got your A plates and then there's one B plate. So you've got your A steel, A steel, A steel, blah, 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 blah. Then at the end of it, you have your B plate, which is this last one here. This, this, oh, dear me. Hey, cameras and me never get on. Always get them in, in the right, wrong position. We have this last one here, which is the B, yeah? And behind that, there is a spring base and a spring. That'll be more evident when we get the basket off and we get it over on the workbench. Right. Now, what I did do, I knocked off the little tab here, which holds this nut in, just to save a bit of time. Now, the torque on this, I think, is about 125, 130 Newton meters, I do believe. Now, there's, there's lots of ways that you can get this off. You obviously can have someone with on the brake. You get a breaker bar on it. Um, sometimes not even the breaker bar works. Uh, but I'm going to try the easy way first, and I'm going to use this. Yeah. Uh, and hopefully, hopefully, as as the Americans call it, I do believe a rattle gun. They call it. Yeah. Right. So hopefully this will get it off. Uh, I have great faith in these. I use them all the time on the cars. So yeah, let's let's see. But I will put the brake on anyway. And let's just see if this will work. Mind you, 
Nothing else has come off exactly that easy as it's out. Right, here we go. Oh, nice one. <laughs> I'm well impressed. Okay. So, <laughs> hey, turn of fate. So there you go. Yeah, hang on a sec. Let's just get... Yeah, there's the original one with a bit that was knocked down there. Look, that's scrap now. You, you, you don't use it. There's a new one to go on. Right. Okay, so. Now what we can do now is we can lift this all out as one and turn it down and put it I didn't really want that to do that but never mind actually we can probably move that across there okay now you yeah you're all in full focus right so let's see let's get this sorted out okay right this that's just the, the washer that's come out, that's no big deal. And get him there like that. Where's my washer go? There it is. There's the washer that just fell off. It's just a normal washer, which obviously has got to go back on. Right. So what we will do is, we'll get this, I'm just going to put this across there on the bench. Yep, yeah. so bear with me a second, like so. <sighs> and then we'll get the cameras back across, just get the oil off my hands. I mean, you can see all this now, your chain. That's okay, I mean, they're not tight, so everything's nice and clean in there, look at this. You know, like I keep saying, 34 years old. Okay, there's a bit of sludge there, but not much. This has all got to be cleaned off, obviously, which I'm not going to do on camera because, you know, it's it's a job that's... It's a tedious job, but uh, again, you see lots of people going at this with Stanley blades and all sorts. I don't do that. I've got a little plastic scraper and I use petrol. Petrols dissolves these, excellent. Uh, and you can get it off without causing any damage to either surface. Right, so let's get round here, shall we? And have a look at the clutch. Right, let's make sure that, again, we'll try to get in the right place for, without knocking the camera over while I'm doing it. Right, so this, this is a, this is a little clutch basket. Now, hang on a sec, I'm just, just trying to think actually the best way that we can take all this out, which is probably this way. Thinking about it, if I can get my fingers just on the knot. It's, I'm just trying to leave that in. Like, like that, yeah? Okay. Now, what we're going to do is, as we take all this off, we're just going to have a quick look, because what what we want to be looking for is any damage. Now, this that's, this is normal. This is just where it's fitted, but it's, it, it's damaged to these here, yeah? Yeah, you can see. Now, that is in nice condition, yeah? There's no damage to this at all, okay? So that's fine. We're just going to put that there like that. Okay. Now, as these come off, so you can do this if you want. You can do this in reverse and put it that way. Now, that, that is a, uh, which stayed on there. Right, so basically, if we if we'd have done this in in reverse, then what what would have happened was let me just show you because it might. I don't know if this will go back in there. It should do. What what we could do is again. 
again we need to look at all this here yeah for wear and tear but she's nice there's there's no problem there at all yeah okay like I say it'll all be nice and clean Again, that's all nice there, so no problem there. And then we just have all our plates, yeah. To be honest with you, again, there's no There's no huge weight on them. But, like I said, this is a 34 year old clutch. You know, that's the difference with this. Yeah. But none of them are really that bad. Uh -huh. I'll just lift, lift all these off to get to the last one. Okay, so there's all our old plates. Now we're not using these, so I can just for now, I'm just going to rest them on there. Oh. Maybe not, as a case may be. No, that, that'll balance there. Okay, I'll just put that down there a minute. So this, this is your last plate, which which fits over. This this last plate actually fits over the springs, yeah. Okay, and that that is that's the different plate, yeah. So I'll put him on there, and then this. I don't know whether you can see this. When you fit this spring on, hang on a sec, let, let me just just get the oil off my hands so I can, I need to tap the back of the screen to make sure that you're seeing what I'm seeing, yeah? Okay, so when, when you fit these two springs back on, yeah? Can you see the gap, there's a gap, look. There's a gap between the spring the spring base which is the one there which goes on first then the spring comes on but you have to put it on because you can actually if i take that off look and turn this over there's there's no gap that is not the correct way and it is it's quite easy done but that's the way that it's going to go on yeah like that okay right that's it basically that is the clutch all put down yeah put down oh that's a bad bird right oh actually these can just go here because we don't need them right so that's it for today uh obviously the new clutch plates hang on let me just reposition the camera Get you up there so the new clutch plates are going to be soaked overnight uh, well it doesn't matter how long you really soak them for um, now I'm not sure if I'm going to be putting this back together tomorrow or not um, we'll have to see I've got things to do so it's all going to be but I'll probably put the new ones in I'll use the same I'll use one of these trays that, that that is sat in now and then leave them to soak and reassemble it so to be fair right just a quick conclusion yes that one bolt was a bright pain in the bum um, and then the casing of course 
been there that many years it just didn't want to come off but it did in the end so hey ho um so yeah uh all in all um it wasn't too bad the pleasing thing was was the big nut um which that can cause uh, you know you see people they struggle um that came off pretty good you using the impact wrench so so yeah you know wasn't that bad okay that's it uh enough of me waffling on like i normally do um i hope you found this interesting i know it's gone on a little bit but you know i i, I tried to cut it down as much as i could when there was bits and pieces going wrong um like i'm not going to bother doing it when i'm cleaning it all up there's no point you all know how to clean gaskets off and god knows what else so that would just be a waste of time um but i try to do it to keep the important bits on and uh and i'm not going to cut that down uh, and like i said a million times before i'm not going to make any excuses for that that's the way i do my videos right okay so um hopefully i'll get this on today sunday if not it'll go on tomorrow um Take care. Have a have what's left of the weekend. I hope you enjoy yourself. I hope you're doing whatever it is you want to do. I hope maybe where someone somewhere where you are in I don't know. I don't think so much in the UK, but maybe some parts of Europe, certainly some parts of the United States. You can get out there on your bikes, right? And certainly probably India. Yes, yes. Uh, got a few followers in India now, so yeah. And I know that's more to do with Royal Enfield, but hey ho. This is uh, this bike deserves a bit as well. Right, I'll catch you in the next video when we put the clutch back in. Take care. See you soon. Bye for now.